The following is a production of the Minnesota Sports Radio Network. It's the Wells Fargo Minnesota Sports Prep Update for Thursday, February 11th. I'm Ryan Phelps. The Minnesota State High School League Board of Directors met late last week at their offices in Brooklyn Center. Here are a few of these snippets. The board approved a motion regarding physical contact with an official. This includes physical contact between a player and an official or a coach and a referee when the contact falls below the level of assault. Penalties for the disrespectful and or supporting behavior will be a suspension of two consecutive varsity interscholastic contests or two weeks, 14 calendar days, whichever is greater. Another action item, the district football policy was passed. This policy describes a current district football plan and establishes guidelines and requirements for the district placement committee and the district committees. So in other words, the way things were laid out last year in high school football with the new district changes, that will pretty much be the same in this coming year. One discussion item that was of interesting note, the issue of whether or not ninth grade should come under the Minnesota State High School League rules and policies was discussed. With a high majority of our schools in a 9 through 12 grade configuration, there is interest in further discussion on this topic. To me, it seems a no-brainer. These days, we have even 7th and 8th graders contributing at the varsity level. And here's some fun for you folks heading to the state tournaments in the coming weeks. The league staff announced that 100-year trivia and profiles of the Sweet 16 finalists in the Top 100 tournaments will be played on electronic scoreboards during the Winter State Tournaments. The league is, of course, celebrating their 100th year. The next high school league board of directors meetings will take place at their offices in Brooklyn Center on Thursday, April 7th. In other news, tourney time is officially upon us, and the first big meet takes place on the Iron Range. Giants Ridge in Bawabic is the site of the State Alpine Ski Meet. Those are the downhillers. The cross country takes place on Thursday. The boys team from Edina and Forest Lake who tied for top honors in 2015, both return to this year's event. Each team has four competitors with previous state meet experience, but a new team champion will emerge in the girls' event as the defending champs from Brainerd failed to qualify. New individual champs will emerge in both the boys' and girls' events. The girls' champ, Kate Hansen of Rochester Century, graduated last spring, and Elliot Bowman of Northfield, who captured the boys' title in 2010, did not ski for the Raiders this year. Other teams to look for up on the range. For the girls, the Blake School. They were last year's runner-up. Minnetonka finished third. They'll be back. Mankato West was sixth place last year, and Eden Prairie seventh. Other girls teams joining will be Minneapolis Southwest, Orono, Cook County, Silver Bay, and Stillwater. For the boys, as we mentioned, Forest Lake and Edina, last year's co-champs are both back. Joined by Minnetonka, who tied for fourth, and Hastings, who finished seventh. The other four teams are St. Thomas Academy, Wyzetta, Bloomington Jefferson, and Hermantown. I like saving money. I mean, it's not like I have a purse stuffed with coupons or... Okay, I do. The other day, I went into Wells Fargo to get help with a car loan. Good news. You qualify for our double discount promotion. Get double the interest rate discount we normally give on select new loans and lines of credit just for being a Wells Fargo checking package customer. And the best part, I didn't even need a coupon. Come to Wells Fargo to discuss how the double discount promotion can help with the interest rate on your new loan or line of credit. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Subject to credit qualification. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Equal housing lender. Great food and great sports. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5 in Eden Prairie. Some of their classics include the Mediterranean pizza, Tavern Turkey Burger, as well as delicious breakfasts that are served seven days a week. That's the Tavern on 4 and 5, just blocks from Eden Prairie High School. The Sun Current is proud to be your community news leader for over 50 years. Each week you can read their in-depth coverage on local government, school district news, high school sports matchups, community events, and newsmakers. The Sun Current's website is now mobile user friendly and it provides breaking local news coverage daily. Check it out at current.mnsun.com. I'm in a state of captivation, got all my fingers shaking. Must have been my large Americano, mochaccino, macchiato. Now the family's gone to bed, and that's my favorite time to get some tips on better rates. Cause my state farm guy answers late And even when it's not my agent Someone's standing by so patient Getting coverage questions answered Helps me to relax Get to a better state, state farm Visit Brandy Warm Beer State Farm Insurance Office Located off Singletree and Flying Cloud Drive Online at brandywarmbeer.com 
We pick up where we left off as the Nordic Ski Racing Meet takes place today. We previewed the event yesterday, but what we didn't know was that temperatures would be 22 below zero in Bowabic this morning, so everything has been delayed until temperatures warm up later in the day. We'll transition to the Alpine Slalom Championship. The downhillers, they finished up yesterday. We'll start with the boys. The individual champion is Tommy Anderson of Egan. He edged Jack Lindsay of Burnsville by less than 0.5 seconds. Luke Doolittle of Eastview finished third. Peter Baker from St. Paul Academy and Austin Donelski from Hermantown round out the top five. The team champ is Edina, back-to-back for the Hornets. They tied Forest Lake for the championship last year, but won it outright this year with 168 points. Eight ahead of Minnetonka, Hastings and Hermantown finished third and fourth. For the girls, it was Maddie Deco of Blake taking home the gold, less than a second in front of her best friend Rosie Hust of Orono, Nellie Ide from Blake, Juliana Damberg from Moundsview, and Mackenzie Bremel of Hermantown finish out the top five. And it was a double win for Deco as Blake won the team championship with 157 points. The rest of the top five look like this. Orono, Mankato West, Minneapolis Southwest, and Minnetonka. Tourney time continues today off the field for you non-sports fans. One act play Thursday and Friday this week at St. Catharines University. And we'll see how State Dance rebounds after last year's huge controversy as they take the Target Center floor Friday and Saturday. It's what I do. Hockey is what I do. In the early 1960s, two teammates, line mates for the Gopher hockey team, started a friendship that has lasted a half century. The relationship that Lauren and I have is probably second to none. I mean, uh, I've known a lot of people in my life, uh, but I don't think that I respect anybody as much as I respect Lauren as a person and as a coach. These two best friends are also the winningest coaches in the history of Minnesota high school hockey. I've always enjoyed it. Uh, to me, it's important. I love teaching and I love coaching. And uh, for me to be able to do that, it's my joy. It's what I do and it's my passion. Lorne Grasso came to Rochester Mayo in 1966. Seven years later, after coaching in North Dakota, Roy Nystrom landed in Albert Lee and the friendship reunited. When I first came down here, we used to get together at scrimmages and we used to exchange drills. You remember that? But this is it, the final meeting between these coaching legends. As Grasso is retiring at the end of the season, his 49th at Mayo. But the sad part about it is uh, Roy and I have been doing this together so much, uh, we're not going to see each other. I'm not going to come over here and watch him play unless he comes to Rochester and plays. And Nystrom is going to miss his best friend. It's going to be difficult because there's always going to be those memories, you know. And he's going to be in Florida half of the time in the winter, so we probably won't call because he can't use a cell phone. He doesn't know how to do it, you know. And I don't either, so we're in trouble. But for both of them, the lifelong friendship goes hand in hand with their love of the game. If I was home studying, my grandmother saw me study and say, why aren't you at the rink? Me? You know, so I mean, why wasn't I at the ring? So I put my skates on and I go play. Hockey is every day of my life. I mean, it's, it's such, it's in us. We can't, there's nothing else we can do. All the hours, the teaching, the mentoring of athletes is coming to an end. We've done a lot of things together. We played hockey on the same line together at the university. We coached together at the grade eight. We uh, coached against each other in the section double A finals. We were inducted into the Hall of Fame the same year, and now he's leaving me. I gotta go by myself now. Grasso will ride into the sunset. 700 plus wins in the books as he trades his skates for sandals. I'm gonna be down in Florida. When this season's over, I'm out of here. And Nystrom will carry the torch alone after the final horn sounds. In Albert Lee. I'm Ryan Phelps for Minnesota Prep Spotlight. You can watch the full story on prepspotlight.tv. Your first word probably wasn't something like finance or savings or ATM. But whatever that first word was, it opened up a world to you that was built on conversations. It's this exchange of ideas that Wells Fargo puts into practice every day through listening, guiding, and planning. So when the conversation is about ways to grow your savings or your business, we'll be here to help you find the right answers. Because an open dialogue is what opens doors. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. 
Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Jim Mordine with Corporate Four Insurance is your one-stop shop for business and personal insurance. With over 30 years' experience, Jim knows the importance of personal relationships and actually getting to know his clients so he can find the right, customizable protection for everything that's important to you. Plus, Jim is an independent agent, which means he's able to shop for the best rates among more than 100 A and A-plus rated carriers. Jim also believes in giving back to the community. As the parent of an Eden Prairie High School athlete, he volunteers with the Eden Prairie High School Band, Eden Prairie Hockey Association, is an active member of the Eden Prairie Chamber of Commerce, and supporter of the Pinky Square Foundation. That means you know you're working with someone who knows the community. So start saving on protecting everything that's important to you by calling Jim Mordine with Corporate for Insurance, 952-746-3075, online at BetterMinnesotaInsurance.com. February continues to be a great time to get those much-needed projects completed around the house. And Hardware Hank and their helpful staff is ready to help you with any of those electrical projects. Leviton and Hardware Hank have their residential-grade receptacles on sale. From receptacles to all sorts of electrical devices, Leviton has the quality products you're looking for. Stop by Hardware Hank and let us help you complete those much-needed projects around the home. You've got a lot more going for you with Hank Hardware Hank. It's time for our Hardware Hank Nuts and Bolts Athletes of the Week, which are selected every Tuesday based on your nominations to minnesotascores.net. Each week we select two winners, one from the Metro and one from Greater Minnesota. The outstate winner is Chelsea Mason from Mountain Iron Buell Girls Basketball. And the Metro winner is Cade Borkhart from Burnsville Boys Hockey. The Wells Fargo Minnesota Sports Prep Update can be heard right here every Monday through Friday. And for more coverage, you can find us on the web at minnesotascores.net. That's minnesota-scores.net. I'm Ryan Phelps on Minnesota Sports Radio. For another round of live, local, play by play coverage of Southwest Metro Sports on PSB Media. On one, middle stand, the leader, and he scores! Pretty basic. Watch the teamwork, tradition, and all out competition unfold live on any streaming device. And they're back to work again. Walking out is Trusso again, and he scores again. What a start here for TJ Trusso. Dog throws it deep, has a man, the catch is made, running down the sideline, 20-10. Five touchdown, Eden Prairie, first play of the second. TSB Media's coverage of tonight's game is brought to you by The Malt Store, Brandy Warmbier's State Farm Insurance Office, The Sun Current, Noodles and Company, Athlete PT, The Tavern on 4 and 5, And in partnership with Minnesota Hockey Magazine and BECTV. On the run, bang, able to catch the loss. Looks over the middle, the catch is made. Catch all of the action all season long on your home for Southwest Metro Sports. PSB Media. Deflects it in deep. Berger plays away from him to the left wing boards. That bounces off a skate. Turned over to Aguilar. Shot and save. Score! Game time is coming up next. Welcome, and you're listening live at the Victoria Rec Center in Victoria, Minnesota, where tonight in Minnesota high school hockey action, the Chanhassen Storm hosts the Chaska Hawks in a matchup tonight of a couple of average teams in the... uh, In the state of Minnesota, they're probably playing for the number five seed, which is better than the number six seed because then they're going to have to play one of the powerhouses like Edina or Eden Prairie. With me tonight again is Patrick. And Patrick, we look for a good game against these two teams tonight. 
Absolutely. The first thing I want to focus on for the home team, the Chanhassen Storm, they had a disappointing loss on Monday night here against Shakopee. They had a 2-0 lead early in the game that slipped away. Want to see them come out and rebound from that and see how that unfolds. And for the Chaska Hawks, they're in last place in the conference. This game actually has meaning in for second place. We'll get right back to everything, though. Okay, we're going to have uh, the national anthem played, and we're going to take uh, a break here at PSB Media, and we'll be back for all the action right after this. If you're enjoying tonight's football game from the comfort of your own home, why not go out next week and get some great food and also watch Eden Prairie football? The Tavern on 4 and 5 will be showing PSB's broadcasts of Eden Prairie football on the big screen, so check it out. It's the Tavern on 4 and 5. And welcome back to the Victoria Rec Center here in Victoria, Minnesota, where again tonight the Chanhassen Storm hosts the Chaska Hawks. And we're about ready to have the face-off. They uh, had the national anthem, a little bit of a ceremony for uh, one of the relatives uh, on the uh, Chan Hassan team, and that was pretty special. Got a, almost a little bit choked up there, Patrick. Uh, pretty emotional when you uh, realize time on earth isn't, uh, isn't forever. Yep. It's a very touching moment, very... Uh Kind of, you know, like you said, it really pulls on the heartstrings to to go through. But you no, know, we're 
we're ready for the game and we'll uh, you know we'll get ready for life yep and for a lot of these guys it's been a hockey life throughout the years go through the mics the squirts the peewees the bantams now we're at the high school level in the nets tonight for the chaska hawks where will be urbansis and number one in the net for the chanhassen storm will be thompson so we're ready for the opening face off and here we go folks chanhassen versus chaska Puck is down in the Chaska zone here in the near side. We're going to have to fight the crowd for some vision here as they get settled in. But uh, right now, Chaska is uh, having a tough time getting out of their zone as Chan Hassan is uh, keeping the puck in. It's down in the far corner. It's picked up by number 17 for the, uh, the Storm. That's Tice. That's their top player. 15 goals and 14 assists this year. Finally... Chaska gets it out of the zone, goes all the way down. No icing, though. Bringing it out will be number 18 uh, for Chan Hassan. That was Davidson. He got it down in the zone. Now Chaska fighting for it behind their own net. Number three can't catch, quite have his name on our roster, but it's picked up by number five, Osell. Osell circles back across his own blue line, circles it over here to Starsky. Starsky slides it back over to Rowan. Rowan back down. So right now Chaska's uh, moving the puck around, but they're in their own zone. So not much moving forward here early in the first period. We're at 15 minutes and 41 seconds left. Now Chan Hassan just dumps it back in the Chaska zone. Chaska on the far side boards, tries dumping it out. That's kept in by Becker. Becker fires a shot on Urbanowitz. And he makes the save. So Chaska still trying to get it out of their zone as Chan Hassan kind of dominating as far as that goes is keeping it in the uh, Chaska zone. So Chan Hassan doing a really good job right now of uh, putting the pressure on Chaska. Chaska slaps it behind their own net, but uh, number four Moser will be there. He goes high in the circle, tries to get around. Now he's in the slot, takes a shot, save, and we got the rebound, and that was picked up and blocked by traffic. Sir Urbansis makes the save. That was a huge save. See, Chan Hassan controlling the place of pl- a pace of play Excuse me, early on in the game. A lot of time spent down here in the Chaska defensive zone. Now you get their first good scoring opportunity. Well, Moser had a chance. Perfect in the slot. And oh, boy, Moser just threw a punch at a guy. And it uh, wasn't a hard one, so I guess they didn't call a penalty. But there's a soft shot on that. Chaska will try to break it out of their zone, but can't quite do so as uh, Chan Hassan goes back in the zone. This is Davidson again. Davidson with a shot off the side of the net. Comes out here on the near side. Now they're down in the near corner fighting for it. And now they Chan Hassan dumps it around. Back behind the net. Now picked up by the defenseman, number 22, Pierce. He tries to get it up the boards. Now it goes all the way across to the far side. That'll be picked up by Fossen. Fossen for Chan Hassan. Slides it up to his winger and now gets it over to another winger. Takes a shot. No, oh, it bounced off the pipe. Woo, and then it bounced way out to center ice. So Chaska saved, saved by the pipe. Number nine, Worry trying to do some duking around. He lost the puck. Now uh, Chaska just sends it all the way down the ice. We're going to have an icing call. So close call for Chaska there, Patrick. Absolutely. Two good scoring opportunities there. I felt that centering pass was just out of reach. Otherwise, that might have been ticketed for a golden scoring opportunity. I was going to say, right before we went to break, St. Louis Park is tied. Excuse me. Bloomington Jefferson, who's playing St. Louis Park, is tied with uh, Chan Hathen for second place. So we'll keep an eye on that game for you as well. So we're still on the Chask end. Uh, we haven't spent a lot of time in the Chanhassen end except for the, the icing call. And that, of course, came all the way back down to the Chaska zone. That's jumped in by Chanhassen Lindquist. Chased by uh, a couple players. Now we're on the far side boards. Picked up by number eight, Urbanzes. And uh, I'm assuming he's the brother of the goaltender. Now we're on the near side. Puck comes across. Uh, it's going to go all the way down the ice. But they wave it off as they say the... Chan Hassan defenseman uh, touched it. So number 40, Lindquist, is trying to get it out of his zone. He slides it 
over to his partner, the defenseman. I believe that's number 18. Or no, that's number 29. And uh, we don't have him on our uh, Chan Hassan roster. I'll check the uh, the other one. Meanwhile, Chaska breaking out of their own zone, but uh, gets slapped right back in. He slides it over to his defenseman, number 13, McClure. McClure slides it over here to the near side. And uh, Chan Hassan gets it back in the zone. Now Chaska dumps it back out. Controlled by Davidson. Davidson gets it over to his winger. Now it's picked up by Moser. Moser loses that center ice, but gets lucky and picks it back up. Sends it in the zone, and Chaska's trying to break it out of their zone. That's number 16, I believe, Richardson. Richardson over to the far side. Now there's a pass to the near side. Bends with it. Bends across the blue line. He loses the puck. It's picked up by Chan Hassan. And uh, Chan Hassan bringing it across the line. That's Trousseau. Trousseau with it. 